Hello guys, Brad Medis of Eastern Long Island Sound Fishing and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be making a video that is not related to fishing and that is to install a subwoofer on my 2022 uh, Ford Explorer Timberline. So, so I got this from uh, crutchfield.com uh, so this is an Alpine QW dash s8 uh, 8 inch compact uh, subwoofer powered subwoofer so all you need to do is just install it and you're good to go uh, first thing i'm gonna do is um, find a, a way to run the power cables from the battery um, all the way to the back of the vehicle okay so stay tuned so the first thing we're gonna do is access the battery by removing this panel so you have fasteners here you have a clip here and then fasteners here here and there okay. and there there you go so just to show you I'm using uh, yeah this the fastener removal tool here okay there you go and we got three more one two three so the way this pops off is uh, so there's this fastener right there so for this to come off you have to pull it up pull it up from here and then it will come off okay you just have to get this uh, there's a fast that there's a fastener that sticks there so inserts there so you have to pull it up so like this pull it up like that and then this will come off now um, before we start running any wires or anything like that it's uh, much better to just uh, remove the ground so this is the ground all right so the ground terminal just to make sure we're not gonna short anything okay okay so uh, I removed the positive terminal cover here so there's a lock here you press and then there's you have to also remove this lock here by pulling pulling this part here so that will unlock and, uh, this will come off and um there's a so there's a lot of places where i can pop the positive terminal here so i taped the power wire um on a fish tape so the fish tape uh, is um, I also got this from Crutchfield. I know I'm gonna need it, so I'm gonna make it. Yeah, this will make it easier to uh, pass the wire uh, through the grommet and actually underneath the the carpeting also later. So I'm not gonna remove that. I'm gonna use it till uh, you know till I get to the to the back of the car. Okay. So I have to remove the underside uh, dr uh, driver side under panel. Uh, there's a two screws here i believe the size is i think this is a seven yeah i think it's, it's a seven millimeter and then there's one and two here that is it's a there and there there's 10 millimeters and the hardest remote to remove is this fastener here Okay, there's one fastener. Okay, this will come off now. I can really go under and see if I can find the, the grommet that goes to the through the firewall. Okay, I did find the grommet. It's right here. So it's about up above the what do you call this? Uh kick panel right here. So it's on top of that. There's there's the grommet. That's where I'm going to try to uh uh, past the, the 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 power cable. Okay. Right, let me see if I can find it in the engine bay. Okay, I got it in the grommet, but that was not easy. That was really hard uh, because it's really tight. Um, but it got the job done. Okay, now I'm going to. All right, now I'm just going to uh, run the wire to the battery so I made sure that the power cable doesn't 
uh, interfered because this is the wiper mechanism here so you don't want that to get tangled so I'm just gonna look for uh, some place to zip tie it here so then I run it over here to the battery so, okay again very important remove the ground wire okay before you do any wiring or any stuff like that I think I may have a place to where to put the fuse maybe over there right there okay okay finished with the power wire uh, tapping the power wire to the battery and uh, getting it through the uh, the firewall I gotta admit that wasn't easy I don't know it took me I took an hour to figure it out now the important thing is you gotta watch out there's the uh, that's the wiper motor over there so make sure your line is uh, you know it's not it's not gonna get caught uh, with the wiper motor so let me show you the other side so there's here's the power cord the positive okay and then it goes through the grommet now it's time to uh, um, run the line uh, towards the back and so from under the dash I run the line here and then towards the running board and then just using the fish tape I run it underneath the middle pillar here and then now okay we're all the way in the back now next step is to get this to the um, uh, the middle seat of the second row uh, most probably I don't know I may need to remove the the seats so we'll find out so unfortunately uh, I'm not gonna be able to uh, work around the, the seat so I have to remove all three so I can uh, uh, you know um, run the wires underneath the carpet but might as well it'll be easier for me to uh, to um, run the wires later the speaker wires I thought I, I'm going to be able to just remove two but I need to remove three because it's gonna be hard to access the the bolts that holds the middle seat so anyway there's like uh, four bolts um, so the bolts are covered by a cap so, you, so there's like square caps on the back and then the front, yeah, there's this cover here, front right here. Okay, uh, anyway, you can see. So, so it's in the front right that. So it uh, to access the bolts, you have to um, pry this open. So just be careful. It's a uh, kind of tricky. You may broke the, you know, the the the, the teeth right there. So just uh, be careful and uh, just do it slowly. Okay, let me. I'm gonna remove all three uh, seats now. Oh, by the way, to remove uh, the middle seat, uh, there's a cover here. You have to remove that to access the bolts. Okay, and same here on the back. So there's a cover here. Pop that open, and you'll access the the screws. And um, okay, just a, take note. Um, the bolts on the middle seat on the, on the back, they're bigger than the rest. Um, so make sure that you uh, you know take note of that this this is a different bolt uh, behind the, the middle seat so I was able to remove all the seats uh, so just don't forget uh, you know there are uh, wires connected to the seat uh, for uh, like um, uh, what they call this the, the the sensor for the seat belts and, uh, and also for the the heater uh, so just remember all three seats have this wire you have to remove it and what the, the pain is there's there's a uh, uh, what they call this um, this retainer that uh, holds the the wires on the seat and boy they're they're not easy to remove so just just take it easy all right just nice and slow pry it nice and slow okay all right done with the power wire so uh, that's the positive and the ground and then the ground I think I'm just gonna tap it here where where one of the bolts where the middle seat goes all right now find the time to find the signal um, speaker signal I'm thinking I'm going to uh, 
have to either maybe try to access the door the door speakers the rear door speakers or maybe well the amplifier and uh, the AM FM tuner is uh, back there on the right rear panel so I'm gonna see if I will remove that and tap from there okay, okay so so this is the uh, left uh, pillar and I removed the panel so it's easy to remove just uh, you know just pop it out it pops out then it uh, you can uh, there's like a cutout so you can uh, go around the seat belt so you don't have to remove the seat belts anyway uh, so I'm gonna tap into the uh, left rear speaker so I just removed some tape here and this is it right here so the speaker wire would be twisted together okay so all right and according to the crutch field uh, wiring diagram so the left rear door speakers uh, let's see positive is gray violet and negative is brown green or brown yellow so i have a gray violet here and then wrapped around it is the brown green which is the negative okay there you go so i just used a t-tap to uh tap into the speaker wire okay so and this is an eight gauge uh speaker wire from crutchfield okay and now let's test okay if there's so i have a speaker tester here and okay so i'm tapped into the I'm tapped into the left rear speaker. Okay, now I'm trying to uh, work on the other side. Okay, so just finish tapping uh, on uh, the rear right speakers. Okay, so uh, for the rear, uh, positive is green, violet, green, purple, and negative is gray. Okay, now let's uh, test the tone. If you have signal, okay, good. And uh, just in case you're curious, by the way, this is what I use. This is a you know a tester, speaker polarity and RC cable tester. Okay, there you go. All right. Okay, just finished connecting the wires. Uh, so the remote is, uh, I'm not gonna use the remote. It's gonna be the um, speaker inputs. Okay, and now next would be um, running the, the base remote control, um, the base remote control to the front. Okay, so I'm finished with the wiring and uh, running the line, so the last thing uh last thing i did was uh you know the remote so i um i still run it on the right side on the passenger side because um you know i i ran the what they call this the power line on the left side so as much as possible you don't want to run signal wires along with the power uh the power uh what they call this the power cord you don't want to do that okay uh, or the power wire you don't want to run your signal wires to the uh, along the power wire because it can pick up static okay all right now let's see let's install it and try if it's gonna work okay so I'm done I'm just gonna put the seats back and I'll try to hide the wires underneath the seat later um, so I gotta admit it took me all day to uh, you know it's mostly because of the wiring um, the good thing is if I do decide to upgrade in the future it'll be easier if you like the video please hit the like button feel free to leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe thank you